Hi, I just have a quick question on sure. partnerships. One of the most important things I think is making an advisory board uh, to get started at least. And what I've found is um, people offer advisors like 1% to 2% equity, you know, in exchange for being part of the advisory board. But when you get started off, you have no equity to give because you don't know what's going to happen. So how do you get more people in this region to agree to be part of the advisory board when you have nothing to offer in the beginning? So I know a lot of advisors, very, very connected people, like how we've had, we know a common friend, um, who basically says, you know, who, who do this without any equity. Um, it's, it's really about how passionate you are about your idea, how much you can convince people about it. And you'll be amazed that really the good advisors that you need are not really looking for the equity because they already are well off themselves, they already are quite successful, and they could help you a lot uh, in your business. So don't, use the, don't think that that is a bottleneck. On the contrary, just make sure you've got a really great idea, you're passionate about, and get that across to people and ask openly, can you, you, know, can you help? Hi, uh, Sasan Shahidi from like GIT. I would like to respond probably directly uh, since I have an advisory board of directors and we actually pay them, but I think the answer to the question, they didn't join, none of them joined because of that. It's very marginal compared to what they make. Um, I think the key is that they buy into your vision and the passion behind your business, and then you'll find a lot of supporters that would be ready to work without any funds. A lot of supporters are ready to give back. Thank you. So, GIT, GIT, right, is your company, is one of the fastest growing companies in the UAE. So, also part of the old world networks. Thanks for coming as well and sharing your input. Just a, a very quick comment. I've been asked to, to be, become an advisor in the last couple of weeks, two or three times. And uh, the one thing I'd suggest is be very clear with the individuals you're discussing what you expect from them. Uh, whether you're just looking for contacts and uh, a way through the the trials and tribulations of this market or whether you want specific skills and input.